Hey, what is up everybody? How is it going? Welcome to the Ecomont YouTube channel. My name is Sherban and in this video, I'm going to give you a top five products that you should sell this November. These products are really nice, so make sure to watch until the end. We're going to go through the source of the products. I'm going to tell you where can you find these products. I'm going to show you the stores that are selling these products. We're going to talk a bit about targeting. I'm going to show you some, uh, some uh, Facebook ads that are selling these products. And we're gonna have some fun together. Make sure to leave a like to this video to help us with the YouTube algorithm. Let's get started. All right, guys, so this is the first product that we're gonna talk about in our list. We're talking about LED Christmas Beanie. It's a pretty cool product. It gets your attention. I would buy this. I'm sure that you would buy this who's watching this video. It has a lot of variations. Me personally, I think I would sell the first like five models. I like them. This is my personal choice, but you can go with whatever you want. One reason to not sell all of these is because there's so many options and people would get confused, right? You would get confused if you go to a store and you would see a hundred uh, different variants, you wouldn't know what to buy and you there's a chance that you would eventually just leave that store, right? This is why you want to keep it simple. You want to show your customers exactly what they might like and, and nothing more. So you're, uh, you have higher chances of, of locking that sale. I would go with the first five. I love these. Uh, the product costs like $4 and uh, the shipping is less than $1. So you would uh, total this product for around like $5, I think. And you could totally sell this between $24 and, and uh, I don't know, $29. It depends on an area of uh, in which you're shipping. But I think that this product shouldn't be more than like $6 or $7. So if you're selling it for uh, $24, $29, that's a pretty good price. You would get a profit margin uh, from starting from $17 up until like $22, which is a pretty good profit margin. Why am I saying this? Because you wouldn't have any kind of problems with returns or with confusions with that. This is a one size hat. So people will, will buy this because they like it and it will totally fit them. They will not have any problems with sizes because this is a universal size and this is what you want to look for when you want to sell something to wear. Uh, let's take a look at the pictures. It looks good. There are some pictures here that I would totally use for my store. Show some sizes here, uh, the material, close up pictures. It's pretty nice. Let's look at the review section. It has a lot of reviews that I would totally use for my store. Uh, and these are like real pictures from real customers, like real people that are using the pictures to, to leave these reviews. And uh, I would totally import some of these to my store. Yeah, pretty cool product. The, the cool thing about it is those LED lights that I totally love. Uh, and, and the fact that it has no sizes, it's universal size, I, I totally love that. You cannot go wrong with this, right? Right, this is the product. Let's Take a look at the store that's selling this product. This is the store, Supplyify. Knitted Christmas LED light up hat. It sells for $29.99. So it's uh, kind of a recommended price. I, I, I called this uh, before seeing the website. Uh, they have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, ten, nine, nine or ten models. That's a lot. If you ask me, that, that that's uh, those are a few models that you could choose from. You can get confused. Um, let's look at the description. I think that this description is mediocre at best. It doesn't look friendly at all. It's just a bunch of text and that's it. Um, yeah, and this doesn't look good at all. I mean, they are using some pictures of these hats that show nothing. Like they show no emotion, no nothing. They just show close up pictures to the products that they are selling. And uh, me personally, I don't like this. And uh, something really bad that's missing is the fact that they don't have any kind of reviews. You see this? They don't have any reviews. And I showed you on the AliExpress page, they had a lot of reviews. They had a review section full of real reviews. You, you can feel free to import these. It would greatly help your conversion rate. But no, they chose not to do this. They don't have any kind of reviews. They just posted some big pictures of hats and that's it. So I think that they are losing a lot of money only because of this, which is bad. Um, I don't see any kind of discounts here. I only see scarcity, 12 sold in the last 10 hours. That's good, but I don't see any kind of discount because the big majority of people will uh, will buy these 
And uh, I don't know, in two, three, five pieces, they wouldn't only buy one. So they don't have discounts. I mean, the profit margin on this is pretty big. So you can totally afford to give them nice discounts for, for bigger quantities. Um, yeah, this was the website. Let's take a look at some, uh, at some ads. This is the ad that uh, this store is running. This is how it looks. And as you expected, the ad looks as dull as their website. It's, it's nothing special. It doesn't show any kind of emotions. I mean, what is this? Fa, fa, fa. Wasn't it supposed to be ho, ho, ho? I don't know. Le leave your uh, opinion in the comment section. Fa, fa, fa. What is that? Is that how Santa Claus says that he's coming right now? Oh. Okay, so I, I don't like this ad. Me personally, I don't like this ad because it doesn't show any kind of emotion, right? It's just like their website. It just shows big pictures of these hats, which 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 shows me nothing. I mean, this is photoshopped, I think. Yeah, look at the. Okay, uh, so this is a mediocre ad. I, I don't like it. A lot, a lot of people will not even notice this ad. Uh, I found another ad of the same product that looks 100 times better and I'm going to show you why. You see, I mean, it's a video ad of, of actual video, right? It's an actual video. It's people wearing the hat. It's not just showing some hats and, and, and doing a slideshow with their images, right? It looks pretty good. It looks pretty good. It has some text on it, high quality material, keeps your head warm. I mean, this is the kind of ad that you would want to run for this product. And it's it's almost one minute. It shows the LED lights. It shows models wearing them. It's a really nice ad. I would totally go with this. And it's, it's, it's short. It's like 40 something seconds, 47 seconds. It looks good. It's a lot better than the first ad that we saw that shows no emotion, no nothing. And this is why I did this comparison for you to understand what is the difference between a good and a bad ad? And, and, and uh, you would see the same bad traits of this ad on their store as well. They, they didn't put any effort in, in showing you some emotion in making you want to buy, right? And this is the same thing that they did with their ad. Uh, let's uh, go to the ad manager and uh, think about some targeting. All right, guys, so if I were to think of an audience that would buy this product, the first thing that would pop into my mind would be children, right? But children cannot buy something on their own. They need parents to do this, right? This is why I was thinking about parents. And I targeted parents with early school age children from six to eight years, parents with preschoolers from three to five years, and parents with preteens from 9 to 12 years. If I would have targeted something more than this, maybe 13 to 17 years old, let's look if we have that. 13 to 17, I wouldn't go with them because uh, those kids are too punk, too badass to wear something like this. And I, I don't think that they would wear uh, Christmas hats because they all wear uh, like big brands now and... Uh, they are not, uh, they, they are corrupted. I mean, these ones aren't corrupted yet by the fashion industry. And I would go with these. Maybe I would narrow it a bit down for some beanie interest or something like that. But uh, I, I would play a bit with, with narrowing them down to see where it gets me. It's some beanie, some hats, some fashion interests. But I think that this should be the base of your targeting, parents, right? And th this is a pretty broad product. A lot of people will buy this for their family. So you would target people with families, but I think that the parents would be the first ones to buy this product. Let's move on to the next product. The second product from our list are these really, really, really cool kid shoes for cold weather. Notice how I didn't say Christmas. I said cold weather because you can totally sell this for other, uh, for other periods of time as well, not only for Christmas. You can totally sell this for January, February, up until like March, right? So these are really cool. They look really good. They are really useful. They are really warm, which is a pretty good quality if you're a parent and you buy, want to buy something for your kid. Let's look a bit at the statistics of this product. It sells for nine to eleven dollars. I think that this depends on the size. Yeah, I think that it, yeah, it depends on the size. So depending on the size, they go from uh, nine up until eleven dollars. Uh, the shipping is like one maybe two dollars something like that so it's like eleven dollars 
thirteen dollars maximum. Uh, you could totally sell this for twenty nine. I would I would go with twenty nine dollars. I would totally go with this, and I would offer free shipping because the shipping is like two dollars. And yeah, I would have a profit margin at around uh, seventeen, nineteen dollars. So twenty dollars profit margin for such a product would be amazing. And this is not a returnable product because children grow up so fast and a lot of them would buy this and maybe in like two or three months they wouldn't be good and uh, p people will not return them because they usually keep the clothes for their small kids so this is a win-win situation because you're having a, a a fashion product that's prone to returns but this would not be returned just like our first product it's it's not returnable it's it, people will not return it because it's universal size i mean if you want to talk about the size here uh, they have American sizes, if you look at this, and I don't think that would be an issue because if you want to target Americans, that would be totally fine. Um, yeah, they offer some, yeah, those were European sizes and they are, they are offering a, a table that's helping you to convert from European size to, to US size. So you can sell this in Europe and in, in US as well. I would try to sell this for even more than that. You could go with like $35 plus free shipping, of course. Um, I think they would sell for $35. That's a fair price. Like $30, $35 is a fair price for this product. There's a lot of quality pictures that, uh, that you can use from this page. If you scroll down, you will see a lot of quality pictures. Man, look at this. They are really nice. They are really nice. And they have a lot of reviews, like 88% are five stars. So this is a pretty good product. Let's look at how many reviews do they have. Uh, 1,200 orders and 224 reviews. That's pretty good, that's pretty good. And you have a lot of picture reviews that you could totally use for your store. Pictures look really good. Review pictures look really good that you can totally import to your store. Uh, they have a lot of sizes, that's, that's pretty good. That's pretty good going on for you. You can import all of these sizes. Sizes are not like colors. People will look for their size. Even if you have 100 sizes, they wouldn't care. They just wanna buy their size. So you can have all of the sizes. It's not like having uh, different colors. Having different colors could put, uh, put your customer in a confused mode and they could leave. But if you have all of the sizes, that shouldn't be a problem. They have a lot of sizes here, so that's good because you have where to choose from. Um, yeah, it's a perfect product for a parent to give to their children. And it's it's a really opportunistic product to sell for Christmas because a lot of parents would buy their kids presents for, for, for this Christmas and the kids would go crazy for these. They, they would keep the feet warm. I mean, look at this. This is really nice. I would buy something like this for myself if they would have if they would have uh, sizes. Right, so uh, let's talk about how I would sell this product. Unfortunately, we we didn't find any video ads of this. There are only pictures. You could be the first one to, to make a video ad for this. Uh, but I would go with these pictures. I would totally use these pictures and I would also use some, uh, some pictures from the reviews. I mean, look at this. They are pretty decent pictures that you could use for, for your ads. And uh, they would go really nice. Look at this. They are worn by kids and they absolutely love it. I mean, these reviews are nice. I would use these reviews as well. Um, if you wanna make a video ad, I, I would test it. I would test this. I, I wouldn't order the product to make a video. I would use some slideshows with, with these images. They have some wonderful images that you could use for your slideshow, but I would go with single image ads or with carousel ads for this product. Uh, and uh, I wouldn't bother with video. You can try that. You never know when the rabbit will jump from, but I think that this uh, product can be sold in single image ads. All right, uh, if we're gonna talk about targeting, I would go just as we did in the last one with uh, parents. with kids between zero and 12 months and one, two years. Yeah, because they are small kids, like maybe one year up to five years. And we will get an audience of like 2.2 million people. If you wanna spice things up, you can think of some, uh, some small kids brands 
brands that are selling uh, stuff for small kids, maybe strollers or 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 clothing or uh, food or I don't know, because uh, those are interests that the parents would follow, right? So by targeting those interests, you would make sure that you would target parents with uh, small kids, right? Because they they are following brands that are selling products uh, related to small kids. So I would play with this a bit and uh, I would get an audience of like two, three million people and I would, I would be good to go. Let's talk about the next product. This is the third product from our list, this really cool Japanese style leggings that warm your feet. They come in lots of cool colors. Um, they come in one size, 42 centimeters. Uh, they are less than $2, $1.83 for a pair. Uh, and the shipping is $3, so something around $5, $6. You can totally sell this for like $19, and you can charge for like $2 for shipping, or you can go with uh, $24.99 and, and offer free shipping. Uh, it's not such a big, it's not such a huge profit margin. I mean, the profit margin, it's like, uh, I don't know, it's uh, 3 plus 2 is like 5 6 $7, and you say, it's like, $12, $15, it's not huge, but what you wanna rely on with this product is the fact that people will not only buy one of these. They will buy multiple uh, multiple products, multiple, uh, multiple leggings. And the thing that you wanna have on your store, it's a quantity discount, right? Because people will buy more than one. So that's really important. Put this in the back of your mind. They have some pretty cool pictures. These are some leggings inspired from the Japanese culture, from anime. And uh, you can totally, totally sell this for Christmas. It's a pretty good present. It's a pretty good product to just wear for Christmas. They are really cool and you can totally, I don't know, you can you can just wear them. You can, you don't have to give them present. You can wear them because they are cool and they are warm at, at the same time. And that's what you wanna do. That's what you wanna go with for this Christmas. Let's look at the reviews. As I expected, they have pretty good reviews. They have a lot of picture reviews. I mean, almost all of the reviews that I'm seeing here are, are picture reviews. And people usually say that it's good quality. They are like them a lot. Took two weeks to arrive. I had to wait a while, but the product is perfect. So people are enjoying the product. And almost all of them have left image reviews. This is a gold mine for us because we can totally import these reviews to our stores and it would look really 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 nice if we're gonna talk about ads i have here another product from another vendor that's selling these for uh, five dollars and six dollars shipping they are a bit more uh, expensive than the first ones the colors are basically the same the length that comes with this it's a different length it's 70 centimeters so given the fact that this is basically the same product I would work with both of these suppliers and I would have two sizes, right? You want to have a 42 centimeter and a 70 centimeter. Did I say it right? Yeah, 42 and 70 centimeters. It's good to have two different sizes for, for the people that want a shorter size, they can pick the 42 and, and if you want a longer size, you can pick the 70, right? It's, it's really, really good. And as for the ads, I would go with this video ad right here. It shows the product being in use. It shows a model wearing the product. I would crop this a bit. It looks good, but I would crop it a bit. I would show some highlights of the product and the way that you can wear it and, and how does it look on you. I would uh, I would make like a 30 second video out of this, but it looks good. Overall, it looks really good. And, and of course, this is another seller with other reviews, other pictures, which you can take and use for your store. Let's scroll a bit down and look at it. Oh my God, there are a lot of reviews. The review section doesn't have that many uh, that many photo reviews, but there are a few that you could use as well. So overall, this is a good product that I found. Uh, I found two sellers for this product and uh, you can find a lot of reviews and a lot of pictures. Uh, if you just write leg warmers, on AliExpress, you would see a whole area of, of, of leggings that are dedicated to this niche. You can even find them for babies, for small children. And uh, yeah, it, this is a niche itself, right? Leggings, the legging niche. And you can find lots of sellers with 
all kinds of different types of leggings. I mean, look at this. These are really cool. They are multicolors. They are they are one size. They are pretty cheap. They are offering uh, free shipping. It's it's pretty nice. I mean, if you scroll a bit on AliExpress, you will find hundreds over hundreds over thousands of sellers of this product, which uh, which can make you some money this uh, this Christmas. If we're gonna talk about targeting, um, let's go on here and delete this. I would go with women. So for um, 240 million, if we go with women, it gets to half, 130 million. And as demographics, I would go, uh, I would go with like big brands, like Zara, H and M, I think. Yeah, let's uh, interest Zara retailer, H and M. 26 million people, and um, I would go with Uniqlo maybe, which is a Japanese brand. It will increase our reach to 26 million. Um, anime maybe. So <laughs> let's think about this in a different way. Let's add the first, like the base interest, Japan anime and na narrow it down to Uniqlo and maybe Zara it would get us to 5.8 million you can play around this for for a while and you can get a pretty nice audience out of this I mean you get the idea this is a product that's inspired from the Japanese culture so it's only logical for you to use something like that to target people that enjoy Japan and anime and also Uniqlo which is a Japanese brand and Zara and maybe H&M you can narrow it narrow this down further and uh, you can get to a pretty pretty good audience to to target for this product let's move on to the fourth product of our list all right, so for my next trick, I'm going to show you a product from Ecom Hunt. If you didn't know what Ecom Hunt is, it's an amazing tool that would help you find winning products. We have a wonderful team that's doing 24-7 research in order to give you these winning products. You don't have to waste any more time, money, or energy into doing that. The first link in the description will give you a 31% discount. Make sure to check it out. So the product we're going to talk about is this premium windshield snow cover. It's a product that will solve a lot of problems. For example, for me, I, I'm not annoyed by snow. I'm not annoyed by, by, by rain. I'm annoyed by the snow and rain combination when it freezes on my windshield. That's a big problem. I, sometimes I have to wait like 40 minutes to get it all off to be able to drive. And that's a lot of time to waste. You know, not everybody has a garage. Uh, and this problem solves that problem exactly. And if you scroll a bit down, you will see... Uh, profits and cost. You will see how much can you get the product for, uh, calculated by Ecom Hunt. You will see the profit margin for this product and how much can you sell it for. That's that's amazing, right? That's amazing. If you scroll a bit down, you will see some engagement stats right here. When the product was posted, the ad that we gave you as an example had 1.7 thousand likes, 380 comments, 80, 800 shares, and 190 reactions. This is an amazing product, given the fact that winter is coming and a lot of people will buy this for winter. Uh, you gotta look at this, right? Let me show you something. At the right hand side, we'll see some links. AliExpress means that if you click that button, it will take us to the AliExpress seller that's selling this item. Alibaba, same. Amazon, eBay, same. Store selling this item, it will take us to another store that's selling this item. And last but not least, what I want to show you, Facebook ads. This is the Facebook ad that uh, that existed and that we showed at the moment that the product was posted. So the product was posted three weeks ago on Ecom Hunt. We found it as a winning product three weeks ago. If you scroll a bit down, you see that it had 1.7 thousand likes and uh, 379 comments, 800 shares three weeks ago. If you click on the Facebook ad button, we will see the ad of this product. But I want to show you something. Look at the engagement stats. It has 5,000 likes and 1,000 comments compared to 1,700 likes and, and uh, 379 comments. It means that in three weeks, it did like four times the amount of engagement. It means that it did really, really well. Let's take a look at the ad. 
it's a pretty decent ad. It it sh uh, I mean, yeah, it shows uh, it shows the getting off the snow part secondly, and that's not good. Quick dry. Okay, it's a decent ad. I would have done better. It's a decent ad. One big mistake that I see is this. It shows this lady putting the windshield protector on, and after that, they are showing the lady getting the snow off. I mean. Logically, if you would think about this, I would do them in, in the exact opposite order. I would show this one first and that one second. They might lose some customers only because of this. This is not a good thing to do because you want to show people what your product does first of all. You want to impress them, right? And by doing this, this is not impressive. You just show some, some, some random things, right? This is not impressive at all. And this is impressive. So they are wasting like six seconds of time. Next up, let's go back to Ecom Hunt and, and let's click the first link, the link on the AliExpress. Let's check out the AliExpress page for a bit. The price of the product is $4.40. It's free shipping, which is amazing. It's a universal size. It's 2.1 by, by 1.25. It's a universal size, means that it fits all of the cars. You see what I'm doing here? I am looking for products that would not have any kind of return problems or, or customer dissatisfaction. They are all universal sizes and we want to look for this because customers cannot be disappointed if the size is universal. If you don't have another size, the size will fit all of the vehicles. That's clear, right? We have some descriptions here. We have some amazing uh, pictures right here that could help us. I mean, I really love it. I love the, the way it, it bends to the car. It looks like it was made by the car manufacturer. Rain, snow, frost, ice, sun, falling objects, falling storage. You get a storage bag for it. Yeah, you have some pretty cool like showing pictures. This is pretty nice. Um, I would sell this for like 20, $25, I guess. And if they would ask for shipping, I mean, I could go with $25 and ask for like a $2 rate for shipping or I would go with uh, $29.99 and offer free shipping. Uh, to my country, the shipping is free. Maybe to the US, the shipping will be like $1 or $2. That's uh, nothing. You could ask for $29.99 and, and free shipping. You wouldn't have any kind of problems by doing that. Um, let's look at the reviews. We have some picture reviews right here, which is pretty good, which is pretty good. You could use this to your store just to show. I mean, the pictures are not that good. They don't show anything special. They, a few people show it on their car. I mean, this guy right here show it on the car, which is good. But uh, yeah, the reviews. I would import the reviews just to show the customers that we have customers that have bought it and that are happy with it, right? Uh, I don't see a lot of people showing the product on their car, which is uh, let let's click on the photos only. Yeah. Oh, okay. There are a few, like two or three of them that show uh, the product on the car, which is pretty good. I would still import the reviews. It's really important, guys. Remember this. Always import the reviews. Okay. Let's uh, let's go back to ecom to let's go back to the ad, and let's click on the link. Let's let's check out the store that's selling this item. All right. So this is the store. Let's check out uh, the store overall. I love it. I, lo I love the feeling. They have gifts. They have images. Is this you? Yeah, brother. That's exactly me. And I don't want to be like that anymore. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> uh, they have some wonderful gifts, images. They show how the product works. It's amazing. I mean, I really love the way. Wait, what? What is this? Never mind. I didn't see that. You didn't see that either. Let's move on. Um, they show some nice descriptions of the product, some sizing, some basically everything that you know and everything that you need to know about the product. If you scroll a bit down, uh, you will see some uh, a slightly disappointing thing. They don't have reviews. I mean, why would you do that? The site is a masterpiece. I mean, it's almost perfect. It's almost perfect. It looks brilliant. It, it's it's really nice. I love this website. And and they did a little editing. They did a little branding in here. I really love it. I mean, besides the fact that they don't have a logo, I'm just I'm seeing this right now. They don't have a logo. They only have a a, a text instead of the logo. That's not good, man. Don't do this. It's it's not a big effort. It it can cost you like twenty dollars on Fiverr if you don't know how to make a logo. You pay somebody twenty dollars and they would make you a really nice logo. I've talked about this a lot. 
so besides the logo and the biggest thing on a product page, man, you don't have reviews, man. Why would you do that? Why would you do that? Okay, let's look at the selling price. They are selling it for sixteen dollars. Wow, that's uh, that's not a lot. That's that's a cheap price. But they are uh, they are relying on the fact that they would sell more. So, for example, in America, we have a lot of people that uh, own two or three cars, maybe families, like four cars, and and usually people wouldn't buy only one. So they are relying on the fact that they could sell more than one. Buy two, get one free. Wait, wait a second. So this is sixteen dollars, and if you buy two, get one free, it's thirty nine dollars. How in the world did they thought about this? I mean, this is a cheap trick. I would exit this website if I would see something like this. I mean, look at this. It's sixteen dollars. Two products is thirty two dollars, right? And they are selling buy two get one free. I mean, the person who did this is not good at math at all. Anyway, they are relying on uh, they are relying on on quantity discounts. They are doing this really wrong because if somebody would actually look at this, they would be really disappointed, as I am right now, and I would not buy this product anymore. Um, the way I would do this is I would use the recommended price uh, I told you, like twenty nine ninety nine, and I would give like a good discount, a good, a hefty discount. For example, if you would buy more than two pieces you would get a 20% discount or 15% or 25% discount on the second one and on the third one even more. And I would go like that. I wouldn't lie like this and I wouldn't go with the, with a small price like this because I wouldn't have any profit on that because there are people who are just going to buy one single product. And uh, as I showed you, this product is $4.40 plus, plus shipping, it will get you to like six, seven dollars maybe to the States and uh, selling it for 15, 16 dollars will not get you anywhere because you have to pay for Facebook ads, you have uh, you have taxes and this is not such a good offer. I wouldn't do this. The, I think that this works as well because they are relying on, on, on discounts but trust me, they are doing some some upsells as well. They are selling something else as well. Yeah, this product has pretty big margins. If you want to sell it with twenty nine ninety nine, you have some pretty big margins to play with. That's like twenty three dollars to play with, and you can offer big discounts. You can do all kinds of stuff. But if you're selling it this cheap, I, I don't know. I don't know. I, I wouldn't do this. Um, all right, let's talk a bit about targeting. So for this product, you would think that it would be good to target cars, car brands, car owners, and something like that. But let me show you something a little bit different. Let's target the United States. We have a population of 230 million. Let's scroll a bit down and think about something different as a windshield. Yeah, we have 16 million worldwide. So it gives us a 6 million interest. This is pretty good for an ad set. You could just use this. For example, it has 6 million uh, audience size, United States and windshield. It has a lot to do with this product because people who have shown interest in windshields will also show interest in this product. You could also play around with this a lot more by clicking on suggestions and using which every, whichever one of these other interests, seat belt, automotive lining, headlamp, auto parts, tire, car care, snow removal, driving. These are all interests related to drivers, to people who usually own cars. I would say that a big chunk of these uh, people from these audiences own cars and have something to do with cars and they, they, they are struggling with that. So we have solved one problem. We have targeted people that own cars. But there is another problem. For example, people in Los Angeles own cars as well. People in Miami own cars as well. In Spain own cars as well. But they don't have this problem. This product is solving a problem with, with ice and snow. They don't have snow there. So the, the, the second problem would be solved by targeting cold countries such as uh, Minnesota, let's say. Minnesota, United States. All right, so we have 130,000 people in Minnesota that are interested to windshields. Let's go to suggestions and use a few of these until we have a decent audience. Tire, maybe. 
rim, wheel, headlamp. Um, alloy wheel car tuning let's let's use vehicles let's see where does it get I, I think that vehicles it's a bit too too broad for this let's give up the vehicle automotive lightning child safety seat and this is good as well because if you are interested in a child safety seat you you sure have a car right that's 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 really basic Michelin, roads, say, uh, uh, nightlight, LED lamp, Yokohama tire, repair shop. Yeah, you could uh, you could go with this as well. Automo automobile repair shop because a lot of people who are interested in repair shops own cars. So this way we are solving multiple problems. First of all, by targeting Minnesota, we have solved a big problem with people who live in uh, in colder areas. And second of all, by targeting automobile repair shops, automobile uh, lightning, child safety, headlamp, rim, tire, windshield, we are targeting people who are interested or own cars. So we, we are good to go. You can do the same exact thing with other countries as well. I would, uh, I don't know, I would recommend you to try colder countries such as Canada or maybe the Northern Europe, Norway, Finland. Uh, Sweden maybe they, they are cold countries that uh, I don't know in winter it gets really cold and they all have these kind of problems So you could do this kind of targeting and it will work amazingly The last product that we're going to talk about in this video is this crazy crystal glass pen right here We found this product with the help of Ecomon, but not only Ecomon. This is a special product I, I wouldn't have found this product if it weren't for Ecomon Lucky Ecomon Lucky is our brand new feature that combines smart filters and real website data in order to give you a bigger chance to find the best winning products. So let me show you what I'm talking about. Let's go on Ecom Hunt. And if you scroll a bit down, you'll notice that we have 126 pages of winning products. Every page has 20 products. That's more than 2,400 products. So 126 pages. Imagine that. Maybe one product from page 47 is winning right now. It's exploding right now in sales. How would you know that? That's the problem. You wouldn't. Nobody scrolls 47 pages. So this is why we, we came up with Ecom Hunt Lucky, our brand new feature that would help you find winning products based on smart filters. Let's go on tools, Ecom Hunt Lucky, and let me show you what I'm talking about. You will basically have to log in on Ecom Hunt. You will have to have an account with us. The link is in the description, check it out. Um, and you will have four filters, trending, high margin, top score, and low visits. You can toggle all of them, you can toggle whichever one of them you want in order to give you what products these toggles say. So for example, I wanna have a product that's trending right now and has a high margin. So we're gonna uncheck these two, we're gonna click the get lucky button, and this is our first product. We will have an AliExpress order growth, top countries by orders uh you will have the profit margin uh yeah we have selected the high margin and this is it it's 19 dollars ecom hunt 24 hour score this is taken from ecom hunt live which is our our second newest uh, feature i've talked about ecom hunt live in my uh latest video uh monthly visits it's now it's trending and view product if you click on this it will take you to the aliexpress uh, to the ecom hunt page where you can see this product and as you can see, the saturation inspector is going crazy because a lot of people are finding these products with the help of Ecomont Lucky. For example, I want to have a product that's not trending right now. It has a high margin. I want to make a lot of money and it has a low number of visits. Let's get lucky. You click on this and you find our first product. If you click it again, it will give us another product. If you click it again, it will give you another product that meets this criteria. It has low visits. I mean, you, you're probably wondering why would you want something like this? Why, why would you want a product that has low visits? Well, mainly because it has a high margin and, uh, and it has high potential. If it's on Ecom Hunt, it has high potential. And uh, you might be the next one who might discover this product. This product did crazy numbers a while back. Maybe it, it got a bit down and, and, and people are not selling this anymore like they used to. And now you will come into place, you will use Ecom Hunt Lucky and you will put your filters in the right way and find this product and start selling it. And maybe you are the first one who will uh, ride the wave of this product again. 
So let's, uh, let's go back to our product. I want to show you something really cool. You remember that we had an engagement area right here. This product, by the time it was posted two months ago, as you can see, it had 4.7 thousand likes. Let's go on the Facebook ad and check out the number of likes it has right now. Check this out. 61,000 likes. I mean, can you imagine this? 61,000 likes and the product was posted three, uh, it was posted two months ago. So in two months, it went for 4.7 to 60,000 likes. Can you imagine what kind of sales uh, do they do? I mean, I found this product with the help of Ecom Hunt Lucky. If it weren't for Ecom Hunt Lucky, this product would remain back there on page 87 or something like that. No, I'm joking. It's only two months old. It's on page like uh, 20 something, 30 something. It, for a two month old product, it, it's doing amazing. I mean, it's doing amazingly. Can you imagine what kind of sales are they making uh, with 4.7 thousand likes two months ago and 60 thousand likes right now? Let's go to AliExpress. Let's check out the AliExpress seller. So the product is $3 and they are offering shipping for $6. So that's around $10. Let's, uh, let's make it round. So you will get it for around $10. Uh, I would recommend you to sell this for, uh, I don't know, like $40, $44, $45. The pictures are really high quality. The product is really good. You have a lot of pictures that you can use for your store and, and, and a lot of reviews. I mean, almost everybody that's using this product that, that have bought this product has left a, a picture review, which is really good. You will import this to your store and uh, it will go amazingly for you. Let's, uh, let's check, let's go on Ecom Hunt and click on the store selling this item. Let's see what price are they selling the product for. I'm curious if I, I got this right. So I don't see a price here on the home page. You have to scroll a lot down. I don't I, Where's the price? How much? Okay. So 39. I said like 44. Yeah, this is a pretty good price. Uh, you can sell it for like 39, 40, 44 dollars. Given the fact that you're getting it for 10 dollars. And uh, this product is like... Uh, I don't know, I would get this as a present, you know? Christmas is coming and this is a good product to give as a present. As for targeting, um, I don't know, I would go with uh, an artistic part. I would go with artists and, and painters and, and people who are more like uh, inclined to art. Let's, uh, let's keep the United States in here and let's, let's play a bit around with the target. United States. All right, 230 million. So let's go with uh, artist, watercolor, watercolor painting, tempera. Yeah, that's that's in Europe. I I don't see, I don't see that interest here. Um, uh, painting. Yeah, let's let's keep artist and painting and narrow it down to uh, watercolor painting. Let's see what's our audience size. It's like 10 million people. We could narrow this a bit down to maybe even writers. It would get us to 2.4 million. This is more like it. I mean, two three million somewhere around that. That's pretty good. That's pretty good. It's a good audience and, and you get my idea. This is why I went here to show you uh, where you should go with your targeting. I would go in this area with art painting and watercolor painting. And uh, yeah, that's it. The thing about this product is uh, I want to I want to tell you something before ending this video. There are a lot of products that are exploding right now. Don't be limited only to your niche because if you're limited to your niche you will miss out a lot for example if you have a pet store and uh, you will see this product maybe you will skip it right because you have a pet store but this product is exploding in sales right now so always be with your eyes open 
and and uh, choose products that are exploding right now products that have big potential otherwise you are missing out and with our with the help of our new tool ecom lucky you can do exactly that you can find products that are matching to your uh, filters don't forget to check us out the first link in the description make sure to check us out you will not regret it like this video because it would help us with the YouTube algorithm. Subscribe to our channel if you want to see more stuff like this. And I hope you will have an amazing weekend. Bye-bye.